Jacob. I remember our first date so well. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you ever said to me was, hey, good looking. You opened the car door, brought me purple flowers, a water bottle, and asked how my test went that day. I came home from that date. I sat on the couch, looked at Emily after she moved away from the blinds, and I said, I think I might have just found my husband. Right here, on this ground where we are standing, holding dreams with open hands against the sky. Allie, our big day has finally arrived. I remember when I picked you up for our first date in Kansas City, I pulled up to your place with uh, Emily spying on me through the blinds, making sure you wouldn't end up on a murder podcast. <laughs> I remember how beautiful you were on that day and this day as well. I remember how easily our conversations flowed. I remember how smart, engaging, and kind you were. I remember knowing you were the one for me after we said our goodbyes that night. Chasing down forever after. As I was thinking about what I wanted to say about Allison, there are so many things I could choose from. She's intelligent, she is kind, she is loving. But the thing that I love most about Allison is she is so fiercely loyal to her people. She is so supportive. She loves to celebrate all your victories. We'll always have a night out on the town when you need it and she will cry with you during your losses. You know that no matter the circumstances, Allison will show up for you. We see it now. The story comes together. Beauty lives in every chapter. So Jacob and I have been friends since the year 2000. We started off grade school together and we went through a lot of highs and lows. And while we've experienced almost every phase of life together since we were 23 years old, one thing has remained the same about Jacob. It's he's stubborn as hell. Yeah. And we mostly see it in his fashion choices, but, but we also see it in the way that he loves people. Now, I promise to love you always. I promise to always remind you of how much I love you. We have countless memories from 2018 and now. I cannot wait to make a lifetime more of memories with you. I vow to love you always and be your Mexican restaurant companion for life. <laughs> I promise to love you and cherish you. I promise to hold your hand while we walk Nemo and Buster, but not if it's too hot because you don't like when your hand gets sweaty. That's true. <laughs> I promise to grow alongside you, but also never grow up. Where you go, I will go. What you face, I will face. You are my air conditioned room on a 102 degree Texas day. <laughs> you are my best friend, the light of my universe and the love of my life. I can't wait to hear you say, hey, good looking, every morning for the rest of my day. So Jacob, as you step into this journey with her, know that you are stepping into life with your biggest cheerleader. And as she is yours, I know that you will also be hers. Allie, I'm glad he found that very specific person he was looking for <laughs> in you. And I know you'll love him like I do and take care of him like he took care of me. This great adventure. We love you both. We pray God's continued guidance and direction in your path. And in closing, may I suggest that while you're on this ride of your life, Allison, as you're gunning that Harley, just look to your right 
and you're gonna see a man with an awesome haircut pedaling his bicycle matching your speed. <laughs> May our God grant you a marriage far beyond anything you, you could ever ask or think. So as an ordained minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Your Jacob, bride. you may kiss your bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob and Allison Boone. step into this new chapter, you're going to face so many joys and so many trials, and I just pray that you never stop supporting one another, and that you are always each other's biggest cheerleaders. And with that being said, I think it's my time to officially hand over my best friend to be your best friend for the rest of your lives. I love you, brother, and cheers to the Hoons.